and Deputy President William Ruto says no one owes him any political debt. Ruto says the only debt he has is helping President Uhur Kenyatta unite and transform the country. Ruto's remarks came even as ANC party leader Musalia Mudavadi called on leaders to shun divisive politics and instead rally their efforts in uniting the country. Speaking during his tour in Naro County, Deputy President William Ruto has reiterated that his 2022 presidential bid is based on his ability to deliver for the country and not on any political debt owed to him. Ile deni moja tu ambayo mimi najua Rais Uhuru Kenyatta hako nae. Na mimi ni mshirika wa hiyo deni kwa sababu nilichaguliwa na yeye debe moja. Ni deni ya kuwaunganisha wa Kenya na kusimamia mambo ya maendeleo. Ruto affirming that he will not be hoodwinked into playing into the hands of ethnic political merchants. And I want to say for the avoidance of doubt, I will not be invited to the politics of ethnic mobilization and tribal arrangements. Speaking in Nairobi, ANC party leader Musalia Mudavadi challenged political leaders to shun politics of division and focus on uniting the country. We must not allow our country to degenerate into the kind of toxic politics that harmed us so seriously in the years back, particularly in the 2007-2008 period. An eye for an eye, we all lose our sight. We must be careful with where we're taking our country. And I have asked and begged politicians, please leave Nairobi youth out of it. The leader spoke as a section of ODM MPs vowed not to relent in their push to popularize the Building Bridges Initiative. Tunashukuru amani ambaye tukonayo kwa sasa. Tunasema hivi biya yedele kwa counties, wa petition, tuende kwa referendum, tu petition, na tutaona kwamba Kenya imebaki pamoja. Meanwhile, Kikuyu, member of parliament Kimani Ishungwa, has warned politicians against attempts to ethnically polarize the country. The time for ethnic mobilization and uh, the space is, is long lost. Kenyans uh, know that political mobilization around ethnicity only benefits the privileged few who mobilize people around the issue of ethnicity. Finally, the protracted border dispute between Isiolo and Garissa counties took center stage during a BBI rally held in Garissa. A section of local leaders saying that they are hopeful that the BBI will address perennial border disputes in the region. For Channel 1 News, I'm Safin Aching Oma.